Okay, in this video, we're going to go over another new feature inside Plasticity. It's uh, on the 1.3 update, and it's called Create Outline. Okay, now we, uh, we're familiar with the alternate duplicate from the past on creating uh, like a plane of, a, of an edge and, and flattening it out so you can have a construction plane. Well, it's been overhauled a little bit and now it does something, it can do it with solids now. So as you can see here, say like I wanted to project something onto this piece here, but I didn't really want to go any further than this piece here. Okay, so how would I do that? Well, we can use the new uh, create outline. And if you do an Alt D and you're on uh, one of the axis here, you can see that it took a silhouette, a snapshot of the silhouette of that object and projected it onto a construction plane. Pretty cool, right? So let me go ahead and delete that one. There's also another command. Does I have a keyboard shortcut, but let's do this again. Let's do, we actually have to search for this one. So F, just type in outline. And we want to do create outline. The one that we did prior is actually project outline. So create outline does something similar, but as you can see, it is a 3D curve. So it created a 3D curve of that, and it can do this with um, sheets as well as objects as solids. And it's uh, I found it to be quite handy. So say like you wanted to get it off axis for some reason. So we're going to delete that one. So I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a, a regular uh, projection. So we're going to just do plane from camera. You got to make sure you have a temporary construction plane so you can get a screen space. So now do Alt D again. And now you can see you've got your flattened out object or a silhouette of that object. So it comes in kind of handy there. So I'll show you what I was doing with mine. So we'll do Alt D. And then let's go ahead and do G, move them out. Right here real quick. Shift A, I just, or, yeah, we'll do uh, just a rectangle. Nothing too extravagant here. And then we'll use our trim. Just to kind of cut that object up. Go. Get rid of the rest of him. Join. Now I could just do a shift I and project it to him. There we go. Boom. And then just extrude out. This is just kind of what I was using it for, just to get all these little uh, spires or whatever you wanted to call them there. It was about the only way I could figure out how to make them correctly. So, but that's basically uh, create outline and project outline. 